again sometimes it's your only only option but I, I very feel I feel very strongly that if you have a small up to medium size hiatal hernia sliding there's so much you can do your body can repair so much of it and and I'm not talking about that a hundred percent of of the widening of of the um, opening in the diaphragm because that's what happens right the the esophagus is just a little less than an inch wide and then you're talking about you know widening it to an inch and a half uh, or so with a hiatal hernia but with a, a small to medium hiatal hernia uh, and then so I'm not saying that a hundred percent of that gap closes but we're really talking about function right we're talking about a pressure on the stomach the pressure causing that upward push you know as soon as you handle the inflammation and you don't have that pressure on the stomach uh, the, the sphincter can regain function to a degree the diaphragm we can definitely train it as a muscle to regain some function and, and you start getting all, all of the redundancies that the human body has to make things go correctly including getting toned to the vagus nerve now not surgical damage but just normal vagus function can can be regained so we have so many avenues by which we can kind of attack what has occurred to create this that patients regularly regain optimal function and they're not bothered with their hiatal hernia and you know whether you know you're you're talking about you know an inch becoming an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters I mean I'm moving my hands <laughs> very broadly here but yeah I mean we all know what that dimension looks like 